Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Gaming. And we've got quite a bit of news today, but as usual, let's jump into PlayStation and get right on with it, starting with Dogfighter World War II. Check this out. Okay guys, that was Dogfighter World War II, and looks pretty awesome. I haven't actually done a dogfighting game in a real long time. I think I was in the Ace Combat for a little while, um, but it's it's been a long time since I played a flying game. Might need to get into it. Uh, anyway, so um, you can check that out when that releases. Uh, moving on, Outriders has a very interesting concept, and it packs East, Jasper Rubin, and Sisman Barshan, I probably messed that all up. Um, but anyway, they were discussing the creating of the universe within the game. The three-person RPG shooter is looking to carve a new path in this genre. There have been questions about how the setting differs from others out there in the genre itself, and some view the, feel that they're not doing sci-fi justice with no laser or futuristic weapons to be seen. The idea was to do a sci do sci-fi differently as opposed to the current trend. This was People Can Fly's goal with the title mix or the title to mix the sci-fi and the grittiness of warfare on an undiscovered planet. I think People Can Fly may have something here and I guess we will all have to wait until we get to see it when it releases holiday 2020. So uh, by all means check out the trailers though it is really interesting. Um, the read and game informer was really interesting, so I uh, can't wait actually to, to see it release. Um, Those Who Remain Deluxe Edition has been revealed and will hit PlayStation 4 May 15th. Uh, Ricardo Sistiero with Camel 101 originally released info with the intention to release in 2018, but uh, the complexity of the game grew and grew, and of course we know how that can be with a development schedule. So, uh, got pushed back a little bit. Um, so, Those Who Remain is a first-person psychological adventure thriller. It's not considered a typical horror game, but it has its moments. Uh, the defining mechanics are that a player can't go into the dark as there are some unknown figures that will kill on sight. Um, and the other is that the player has to travel through the other place, which is a mirror dimension um, that's a twisted version of reality. Judging from the screenshots and the videos, it's all very om ominous. Um, check it out fully May 15th or check the trailer out to get the feel. It is pretty eerie. Uh, but anyway, moving on from PlayStation into Xbox. Xbox didn't really have a release this week. Um, they did have, uh, however, the Division 2's Warlords of New York, um, which is releasing across the board in two days. So by all means, I, I know it's not new, it's not a new game, but the trailer does look amazing, and there were no releases this week, 
So check out the Xbox trailer for World Edge of New York. Somehow, you can't see that you're making the same mistakes that brought it all down in the first place. Your job, Agent, is to protect this delusion. And I have sworn to destroy it. You can try to stop me, hunt me down, kill me. check that out. I'm actually very interested. I just, I took a really long time to get into the Division 2. I've had it forever. It's just kind of how games kind of go with me sometimes. Um, but anyway, um, I just finished level 30 and started working on the tiers. It'll be great to work towards 40 as well as uh, chase down Aaron Keener in New York. So by all means, check that out. The lease is in two days. Uh, it looks amazing. All right, so moving on, Xbox has been hard at work on updating the experience that players receive from their console. You should already see a new simplified home interface as well as uh, new My Games and Apps UI with more content grouping and navigation, uh, image and GIF support on our in conversations, view and installation of individual games on Game Pass, um, choose a preferred location for your notifications to pop up. Uh, more mixer viewing improvements and more storage management suggestions to help you free up space when your console is full. I think these are great. Um, you know, it's sometimes you look at something and you just wish like the company would do something about it. I have the same issue with PlayStation. I don't see how it's so hard to um, basically search or group your your games in the trophy section. Um, you can do it on the computer, I got that, um, but you can't really do it on the console, like you have to look for it, uh, which kind of sucks sometimes because especially with all the remakes that are coming out, we're having to see, I mean for me, I'm looking at how far did I get the first time I played it, um, is it worth me getting it again um, on a new console, or if I played it before and it's just like an add-on or something like that? Is it something that I'm even gonna have any worth in if if I've already beat it or you know, if it's if it's something I platinumed way back when, it's not worth me buying the whole game, etc. Like there's there's different uh, reasons to wanna look that up, but um, I think this is great that they're improving the UI for the community within the Xbox and um, I mean as Series X comes and there's a lot of details coming on that which is kind of segueing into my next uh, piece of news for Xbox. They've been putting out more info in regards to the Series X as E3 draws closer. Uh, Xbox has officially touted 12 teraflops uh, variable rate shading or 
variable rate shading. I did say that right. All right, hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing, quick resume for multiple games, and smart delivery. The full details can be found in the wild, and I'm sure everybody has been talking about these since they've been released. There's no size confirmation on the SSD as of now, but they have confirmed that it will support 120 ter 120 FPS, and that back backward compatibility is going to include all Xbox games. And of course, if you bought a game for Xbox One X, for instance, it will be playing based on the system you're playing on. So they did confirm backward compatibility. So. If you have an Xbox, original Xbox game that you're going to play on the Series X, it's going to kind of up the graphics and do everything it's got to do to compensate on the new system, which is kind of cool. Um, if you bought a Series X or a Xbox One X title disc and you're playing on the Series X, it'll do the same thing. Now, obviously, you can't take a Series X game and go to your Xbox One X and play it. That's that's not how that works. But um, that's a really cool um, piece of the Xbox Series X is that you can just kind of take any of the Xbox games and put them in and it will up the graphics and compensate for the newer hardware. So I think that's, that's awesome and good on Xbox. Um, so that being said, um, that's it for Xbox this week, so let's move on to Nintendo. So Nintendo's trailer for the week is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Check this out. Alright, that was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. It's a mouthful. Alright, um, moving on. Platinum Games is looking to release its third superhero trilogy on all platforms to include the Switch. Project GG will be, pow will be the powerful climax to Hideki Kamiya's Beautiful Joe and the Wonderful 101. Uh, there's no exact release date yet, but he has no desire to launch the game quickly. So only time will tell. He wants the game to look good when it releases, which is always a good thing in my book. All right, id Software's Marty Stratton is stunned by the Doom Eternal port to Switch and believes people are going to love it. Um, it's not going to launch on March 20th alongside the other versions, but is stated to not have a huge delay. He believes it's going to surprise people when uh, and that panic button. Sorry. Uh, their porting partner is proving their prowess yet again. Uh, we will have to wait on further information from the Doom team on the release date for this title. So by all means, if you're looking for Doom on Switch, you're going to have to wait and just keep checking the articles, man. I'm sure we'll, we'll update it here, but uh, check in and, and uh, see if there's a date released. It might be in between our weekly videos, so but we will keep an eye out. All right. Um, 
finally moving into Stadia. Stadia, no release again. Uh, it's still something that I, I haven't seen anything exclusive to Stadia uh, coming out yet that I can trailer from. So um, until I see that new releases are coming out on a regular basis, I'm going to leave videos out at this point. Um, anyway, so three new titles are releasing for pros in March and include Grid. SteamWorld Dig 2 and SteamWorld Quest Hand to Go to Mech. Uh, Grid will include a 40 player endurance mode that is exclusive to Stadia. Uh, that ought to be pretty cool. I actually downloaded all three this morning. Um, well, downloaded. I just claimed them because that's all I got to do. Um, then I go to my system, turn it on, and say, hey, I want to play this, and hit the button, and I'm good to go. So. Alright. Anyway, uh, free trials and streaming to YouTube may be coming soon. The code from the new Stadia update shows that Google is working on the new interface flow that would allow creation of an account without a code. Because right now, if you're a pro or you're a buddy, you need a code to get an account. Um, so Google may limit the amount of free trials in an area though uh, in order to preserve the quality of performance for those that already subscribe. Family sharing and YouTube live streaming are close to making their way to Stadia soon. The major caveat to this, however, is that the existence of the code itself doesn't confirm that it will make it to the final product. However, these are features that Google and Stadia have been touting since the beginning. So. We'll have to wait and see when they implement these. However, we don't see them going away. Um, I would have to say though that when you look at the um, the quality of performance, I think it's a huge thing for Google to keep in mind because you can't just throw a bunch of people at a server and expect that uh, level of performance to maintain. So uh, anyway, good on good on Stadia there. Um, as we get to the end here, like, share, comment, subscribe, and by all means, we will, as always, see you next week. Um, if you're asking about the shirt or wondering about the shirt, um, I just I just purchased a new PC. That's what we've been running on for the last couple of weeks. It runs great. Um, however, I should kind of blank this out because um, I also run a uh, computer-based uh, company called Computer Builders Anonymous. Shameless plug. Check that out. Um, it's computerbuildersanonymous.com. And by all means, until next week, guys.